of you deserts me you're all i think about sometimes but baby i saw you for a second and i'm happy that you came my way don't want to waste no time without you ever brightening up my days never meant to fall so hard
Cause I don't recognize you anymore One sweet and caring Now cold and calculated You can't be trusted You want the world for your own You want maximum profit Stress though the waiting, I keep them waiting. Make up on fleek high heels, rip jeans, they're all waiting. I'm on my way. Yeah. Looking in the mirror at myself like who that swag on a thousand and my girl got my back. We just want the party, call me to kill a shot. We just want the party. Yeah, yeah. You can bring your friends, we won't mind it. We just came to death and go all night long The look in your eyes, you can't hide it Oh, baby, I know I turn you on You can bring your friends, we won't mind it We just came to death and go all night long The look in your eyes, you can't hide it Oh, baby, I know I turn you on When my friends pull around and they got the top down on our way yeah, We're on our way Music up, you know we don't give a what on our way, yeah. we're on our way.
everyone welcome to the stream we're having a late night stream tonight again and we are playing that game i've been telling you guys about all week called college craze um game is wild apparently well i've seen screenshots the game is wild that's why i age restricted the stream um but i also have on streamer mode so i don't you know we're not gonna really see anything too crazy but i don't know streamer mode varies for different games so i don't know what we're gonna see and what we're not gonna see i don't know but we shouldn't see anything that could get me banned um <laughs> which is the goal we're not trying to get banned so um yeah we're so basically with this game it is a virtual novel kind of game um like i said kind of like our life for those of you that have um that have seen me play our life it's kind of like that but like on a more adult level i guess um the premise of the game from my understanding from what i've read is that you're a freshman you're starting college you know you're new on the scene um i don't know if the game allows you to like i'm assuming it does it's, it's a choice based game too i should say so um you have i'm assuming you have the opportunity to like go party or do your homework and then suffer the consequences of or deal with the consequences of whichever one you choose like things like that so and that's what we're going to be dealing with with this game um this game is very sexual from what I've seen. Just giving you guys a heads up. That's why the stream is age restricted. Um, you know, we we talk about, you know, sexy stuff sometimes on my channel, but I don't feel like we ever really play a game that like has that as like a huge part of it. But I don't think the game only focuses on that. There's definitely storylines I've heard, depending on your choices, there may be some some things throughout the story that you don't even encounter depending on you know who you're cool with who your enemies with stuff like that and for those of you that may or may not know there used to be i don't know if you guys remember there used to be a channel called noggin and it was basically nickelodeon but um not noggin it okay it was noggin in the daytime but then at night it was the inn is what it was called it, it was one of nickelodeon's channels it was called the inn they used that was when like Degrassi and stuff would come on and they had a website for the inn and there is a game on there called the hookup and this game gives me the hookup vibes except the hookup was kind of like a virtual novel too but you had you could like walk through um you're really not supposed to be in here so if if Demona decides to time you out or something that's on you <laughs> but um uh yeah so the hookup was basically like kind of like a virtual novel but you could walk through the town like you could actually i'm sweating so much on my nose right now holy shit it's not even that hot in here it's the okay i have some i have some hot cocoa next to me so that's probably why you guys know i sweat on my nose so whatever but yeah the hookup basically like the art style kind of reminds me it kind of reminds me of the hookup this game um you could have enemies you could have friends depending it was choice based like it really reminded me of that game so um you are not 25 you are not supposed to be in here but i did my part i did my part i age restricted it whatever i can't control who comes in here whatever i don't care um but i mean i can but i, I really don't care that's that's your mom's job um but yeah so let's see we are about to get into this game i need to set up the settings though the settings i was kind of looking at them before i got started but i just want to make sure they're all good so let's see oh another thing about this game that i've heard and from what i've seen there's a shit ton of characters like there's a lot of characters so um Well, that's gonna be something to keep up with. Why is the game not? Why is it? Okay, I guess I need to drag this to my desktop. I'm drinking black cherry juice with coconut rum and orange. I knew you were getting something 
fancy whenever when you said you were getting a drink i'm like yeah she about to get something fancy as hell <laughs> um okay let's see college craze let's run this application Warning, you must be at least 18 years or older. It says content warning. This game can contain scenarios involving stalking, emotional manipulation, dubious con- Bruh. It said dubious consent. What else did it say? Um, stalking. Obviously like sexual, suggestive stuff. Stuff like that. Let me turn this off. I've had rum sitting in my bar for over a year. I believe it. And I don't know where I need to be. So I'm gonna have to move my camera. I probably will have to be in one of the bottom corners so I'm not covering people's faces. But um, this game will be wild. Oh yeah, you can tell by like the early 2000s music, right? It's giving an early 2000s vibe. Where's the freaking... All right, game capture. Let's go to college craze. All right, this is the game, guys. I think there's over 20 characters in this game. And I don't think they're like minor. I think they're characters that you, majority of them, you need to like remember and keep up with. So we need to keep track of who we're talking to. Um, see, it says a college dating and life sim. Um, so I have streamer mode on. I think everything is fine how it is. I kind of looked through everything. I, I think everything's fine. Um, so obviously I have to create my character. I'm not clicking on the gallery because I don't know what's in that gallery. I didn't see, bro, there was this girl that was streaming this on Twitch and she didn't have streamer mode on. She almost got banned because the stuff that, that scene that popped up, the little picture, mm, that was not allowed. <laughs> All right. Um, this is, this is it. This is all we got for skin tone. I don't know. Let's see what hair they got first. I'll probably do the, the middle one. It's usually what I do. Um, curls, long waves. Oh yeah, the game, the game is free, I think. So I paid for the Patreon. I paid for the Patreon and um, I got, did I? I think some of the chapters are available to the public and then some are on the Patreon. I just got went to the Patreon so I could get the five chapters, but she's still working. On, she's actively working on this game. It's, she's actively working on it. So the game is still ongoing. So once we finish the five chapters, there's going to be more, but there's a lot of dialogue. I think some of the chapters have like 100,000 words in them and she added like three or four, three to 400,000 more. So the game's long from what I've seen. It's your red. You need bleach for what? Let's go with this. It took, it feels like it took forever, but I'm finally here. I'm officially a freshman at Sugardale U. Okay, what do, what do we have over here? Hide slash unhide. Oh, okay. Back. That's to go forward. Auto. We don't want to do auto. Save and then load. Guys, we have a body count at the top. See, this is this is what I'm talking about. This is this is the, we have a body count. Guys, I'm trying to be the biggest whore. <laughs> I'm gonna be a re I'm gonna be a a reasonable, slightly focused on my schoolwork kind of whore though. because I'm not in real life, so I need to live vicariously through games like this. The college memories, oh my gosh. What side should I be on? I don't know if I should be over here. Maybe I should be over here. I might have to like shrink myself just a tad bit. Well, it would be like right there. I think that's good. But I do need, I think I need to flip my camera if I'm over here though. Horizontal. Okay. Hi, ducking. How are you? Okay, so these are my followers. 
this is my money and my GPA. So that gives me the impression we probably have social media in the game. You can obviously hook up with people. Maybe you can get a job, I'm assuming, or make deals with people, I don't know. And then you can obviously work on your, your schoolwork too, and that's gonna have an impact. So the college is called Sugar, Sugar Dale U, which that was something else that drew me in. Another thing, guys, this game, the creator made Tumblr pages for the characters. So like each character, I don't think it's, it's not all of the characters, but I think like some of the main ones have a Tumblr page and you can go to their Tumblr page and like read what they've been posting and stuff. I think that's really cool. I did that one time for a Sims Let's Play that I never finished, but. Um, and then I don't know what this is up here. Um, this, I mean, it says Sunday, but I don't know. I don't really know what that is. You know what? I might need to be on the other side because I think there's a phone that pops up sometimes so we'll just stay over here for now I think the phone pops up on that side okay let's keep going oh looks like my dad's messaging me okay pop me dad hope you got in all right my college girl you worked so hard to get there Rosalie and I are so proud of you what is my name I didn't choose a name right Sorry we couldn't be there to help you move in. Rosalie is still recovering from her surgery. All right, let's kind of turn this down a little bit. We don't want the music to be overpowering the reading. Okay, so Rosalie, is that his wife or something? I don't I don't know who that is. Uh, my dad acts like my stepmom's boob job is more important than helping his only daughter move in on her first day of college. She's been in recovery for almost six months now. I'm not surprised though. Ever since Rosalie's been around, he's completely lost his backbone and does everything she says. Okay, so my dad's whipped, including turning my room into a playroom for her two stupid dogs the second I moved out. I worked hard to get here and I need to work even harder to graduate and get a good job. But most importantly, I've got to find a place to live this summer so I don't have to go back home and live with my evil stepmother and her two demon dogs. Okay, so I don't like my stepmom, apparently. Good to know. Scold for not being here. Wish Rosalie well. Nah, you should have been here. She's been in recovery for nearly half a year. You should be here, but you let her get to you yet again. Now that's unfair. She's had a really tough time and she needs me here. I know you don't like her for whatever reason, but she really wants to be there with you and couldn't. No matter what you think, we both love and miss you very much. I hope you are in a better mood next time we talk. Whatever. It's, it's on site. There's no reasoning with him. Ugh. It's probably a good thing they're not here to help me after all. Luckily, I have my best friend Blair to help me. Bro, what is my character's name though? What is my name? That's kind of weird, right? But whatever. Okay, so I have a best friend named Blair, apparently. Room 701, this should be the right room. Well, I'd better start moving some of my things in. I think my roommate might already be here. The door is open. <laughs> oh my god what the hell who the hell is this is this my best friend this is definitely not a co-ed dorm who the hell is this what should I do he looks really cute no reason to scare him away throw my box at him he's an intruder do nothing maybe he'll get embarrassed and leave I okay he's okay uh, he's all right, but he's still in my room and I don't know who he is. Um, do I want to, do I want to assault him? Hmm. Throw my box at him. He's an intruder. Do nothing. Maybe he'll get embarrassed and leave. I'm just, I'm, I'm going to play it safe right now because this game if you become enemies with people like because it said on the website that people will remember what you do which obviously for choice based games they're supposed to but they made that very clear so i think it's very prominent in this game that's a very prominent feature if you do things to people they're gonna remember it so for now i'm gonna play it safe because i don't know the dynamic of who he's cool with i don't know how he'll take that so do this Whoa, sorry, didn't see you there. 
that's fine. I was just getting some of my stuff in. I'm smiling. Oh my gosh, this can't get any more awkward. I should have said something. Uh, well, this is awkward. I promise I'll be out of your hair in a few. Take your time. Nah, I'll grab my clothes and head out. You're Trish's roommate though, right? I'm Bryce. Who the hell is Trish? Oh, here we go. All right, my name is Deja. Bruh, I can't put my apostrophe. Are you fucking serious? Bruh, do I want my name to be Deja? Well, I am trying to live vicariously through through this game, so maybe I maybe my name should be Deja. I'm hooking up with the whole campus. I don't care who it is. Girls, guys, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm Deja. Nice to meet you, Bryce. Deja. I like the sound of that. Cute, cute name for a cute girl. Oh. Who the hell are you? Okay, so this is my roommate. Babe? I leave you alone for one minute and you're already letting some rando drool over you? Really, Bryce? Babe, what are you even talking about? I literally just got out of the shower with you and your roommate came through. What the hell are you? Bruh. Oh yeah, I'm sure that's exactly what happened. Judging by the look on her face, you were probably giving her a real show. She seems confused. I should clear things up for her. What a bitch. I should put her in her place. Oh no, she's clearly upset. I should apologize. Bruh, I'm not apologizing, but I will clear things up for her because I do not want your big-headed man. But if you keep it up, we might have to handle that. I might have to steal them later. So you might want to calm down with that attitude. Let's see how she takes this, though. I'm going to be, I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to clear things up for her. Oh, my gosh. Demona, you're already, you're already encouraging me to be a savage. I hope this isn't going to burn me. Mmm. Chocolatey things up for this bitch okay but if she if she continues with the attitude i'm gonna remember that and i might fuck her man later just just saying hey this is a total misunderstanding he's right i was just moving some of my stuff in and he was here save it for someone who actually cares i'm not going to spend the rest of the year with a roommate who can't stay in her lane i'm sure our dean will love to hear about how it's been less than a day and already you've made me and my boyfriend feel uncomfortable with your sexual harassment what? No. Come on, Bryce, get dressed in the bathroom where this perv won't see you. I've got to go find the Dean. Are you serious? Is she serious? There's no way I'm stuck with her for my freshman year. I hope she's just having a bad day or something. At least I won't have to deal with either of them while I'm moving the rest of my stuff in. Can I decorate my room? Like, do I get, get a choice with stuff like that? Because stuff like that matters to me. I wonder where Blair is. She said she'd be here by now to help me out. Hey. Whoa, you scared me. I thought you left. Why is he bad? I had to come back and say something. I'm so sorry about that. You're not the one who should be apologizing. Yeah, but she'll never apologize. She can get a little crazy sometimes. That's the understatement of the year. I gotta be honest, I didn't just come back to apologize. Oh? Let me get your pop me. <laughs> not even coming back to get my number. Or my social media, I guess, might pop me is kind of like, bruh, he don't even care. So she was rude to me, so. You know, so I can give you a heads up next time I plan on visiting. Give him my pop me info. I don't know. Could he be any more sleazy? No. She was rude to me, so why not? Well, you've got a point. Nice. Toss me your phone real quick. I should have said, I don't know. That's what I should have said. I'm dead. That's That is called pop me. Yeah, I just the, good point. I just thought about that. Okay, Bryce two nights underscore zero zero. Oh my gosh, he he's giving fuck boy. Feel feel free to stop by Delta Epsilon if you ever need any space from Trish. Okay, so he's a he's in a fraternity. He, he typical frat boy. You're in a frat. Yeah, it's nicer than living in these tiny ass dorms. Plus, I get my own room there. So, Bryce, where are you? Shit, gotta go. Hit me up, all right? Oh my gosh, she's gonna beat my ass later when she finds out about this. What a nice guy. I can't believe he's dating someone as crazy as Trish. At least I might have a place to go when she goes nuts again. I hope I don't have to run away from my dorm very often, though. Well, I'd better get back to moving the rest of my stuff in. I don't know what's holding Blair up, but I'm sure she'll be here soon. Done, finally. Okay, so I got a little, like, coffee make a thing over here. I got a little a little mini fridge. Uh, I, I like the, her blankets a little bit better. I kind of like... 
the lights are it's 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 okay hi raz hi lc so it's like a college life slash dating simulator i just i just got to my dorm i'm a freshman at sugardale university i just walked in there was some guy naked in my room apparently it's my new roommate's boyfriend they had just showered together she got mad at me because her man was naked in my room i'm confused but he ran back in and asked for my number so i gave it to him because she said she was gonna report me for sexual harassment even though i didn't even do anything so her man wants me now but it's kind of like a virtual novel kind of thing but it's choice based so i can choose what i want like what path i want to go all right done finally it's too bad blair wasn't here to deja okay so this is blair you're here i'm so excited is that blair she looks so different since i saw her last winter i like her new style way more expressive new piercings too she looks like a totally different person blair where have you been i thought you were going to meet me here earlier i know i know i'm so sorry i got caught up with some crap with my advisor she's pressuring me to declare a major since i'm a sophomore okay that's what i was wondering so she's a little bit older so she's been here a little bit and probably has some connections already f her then exactly raz but i told her i still have a whole year to figure it out but i don't want to bore you with my bullshit 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 is that what that means yes it is besides we gotta hit the activities fair we do uh yeah i've had my eye on the art society president since last year the things i would do to that man oh my gosh wait what happened to gabe aren't you guys still dating yeah until he broke up with me he literally told me i was too boring in bed can you believe that that's no surprise to me i can't believe that i mean that's kind of mean to say so i'm gonna say this are you kidding me what an asshole he should be happy you even gave him the time of day i like how it shows their picture here whenever they're talking too because in other virtual novels it'll just show their name which is fine but for people who don't want to keep up with like names it's easier to see who's talking if you could see like a picture of them yeah i can be a savage in this game demona this is right up your alley um well, I'm gonna make him regret breaking up with me hard. I had my glow up and I'm on a mission. Okay, sis. Okay, tongue out, yas. Okay, it seems like an explicit beginning already. Yeah, yeah, it is. No one's ever gonna call me vanilla ever again. Vanilla? Oh, right, my little Deja is still a version. So much to learn, little one. Hey, you barely had your first kiss last year. I can't expect you to know much. You're only four months older than me and we haven't seen each other in months. A lot can change in that time. Wait, are you saying what I think you're saying? You're not a virgin anymore and you didn't tell me? Are you still a virgin? Um. Mm, hmm, how do I want to start this game off? Do I want to start it virginal? Or do I want to say, yeah, I'm a, I'm a little bit of experience. I've done a little bit of, a little bit of stuff here and there back at home. Um, what do you guys think I should say? I don't know. I don't know which route I want to take. Because if I, if I'm not, if I am one, then that means I, my, I will lose it here in this school. And these people already seem kind of crazy, so. I don't know. Um, what am I gonna say? What am I gonna say? Hmm. Like a virgin touch for the very first time. Oh my gosh. All right, we're, we're gonna go in fresh late. <laughs> Way to rub it in. Don't worry, there will be more than enough opportunities for you to change that. If you're even trying to change that, of course. But we'll talk about all that later. We have to get to the activities fair before it's too late. All right. I don't think I'll ever get over how big this campus is. Hold on, I want to make sure you guys can hear the music, you know, a little bit. That's a little bit. All right, so basically we have, we're have we on a huge campus. Cool, cool. I'm so lucky I got the scholarship I did or I would never be able to avoid this, afford this place. Hold on, I need to turn this down a little bit. <clears throat> Let's see. All right, I think that's good. Um damn it we got here too late let's hurry and look through what's left 
This won't be the only time to sign up for these though, will it? They're just academic clubs. Girl, you've got so much to learn about Sugardale U. Okay, why, why are they giving me th this as a choice if I can't even choose anything? Why are the clubs so popular? No one really cares about the academics of each club. They're just the easiest way to get the best internships for the summer or jobs if you're graduating. They fill up fast and can be really competitive to get into. So if you want to join one, now is the time to do it. Okay, why are internships so important? Good internships equal good job equal good money. It's simple. Plus, if you please the club prez, they'll probably pull, be able to pull some strings and get you a really good gig. Is she implying I fuck a club president? She can't be serious. And by please, you mean fuck? I wasn't trying to say that, but I like the way you think. This girl crazy. I don't know about all this. <laughs> I'm sure the presidents wouldn't mind a little extra attention, a, a little extra deja attention. They're well connected so they can get you far if you play your cards right. Just keep your hands off my man Raffi and take your pick of the rest. Okay, Raffi. Oh, I wonder if I have the chance to betray her and steal her man. I wouldn't do that because I'm not that type of person. I wouldn't even play the game like that. But I wonder if I, I wonder if this game is so grimy, it gives me that, that option. Okay, Ravi's Herman. What clubs can we choose from? Usually Sugardale has about 50 clubs to choose from. Damn. Since we're late though, it looks like there are only a few left. Okay, so we need to choose wisely here. Uh, yes, tell me about the art. Tell me about science. I don't care about science and art. Okay, that's not that's not true. I do I do care I, I care about both, but I'm more of an artsy girl. Even though, fun fact, guys, I have I have three degrees. I have two Bachelor of Arts degrees, and then I have one Bachelor of Science degree. So I care about both, but I'm more of an artsy girl. Let's go there. What's up with the Arts Association? It's run by Raphael, but everyone calls him Raffi. Oh, so this is Blair's man. Okay, I like the long hair and the piercing eyes. Okay, he kind of cute. I told you about him earlier. He's a really talented painter. Or is that her man or is that somebody she just has a crush on? Either way, he's off limits. Oh, so that's the guy you had your eye on. I guess I know what club you're joining. Okay, yeah, I'm, he's off limits to me. Yet people say that they're the biggest druggies on campus though. I heard Raffi's close with some big dealer from the east side, but who knows? What the hell? I heard you can get a cool internship at museums, curating art exhibits, or behind the scenes at design agencies if you get in. Might be cool for you too if you're into that. All right, let's, let's see, let's hear about science. Tell me about the science society. Uh, my stupid stepbrother, Thomas. Why does he look like freaking, um, Bro, what is that? What is that dude's name? What is his name? Hold up. Lakeith Stanfield. Am I tripping or does he not look like Lakeith Stanfield? My stupid stepbrother Thomas is the president. He thinks he's so much better than everyone else just because his GPA has been the highest in every class since he was able to walk. I kind of see the I kind of see the the direction we're going in here though. And maybe I'm reading too much into it, but like one club is ran by the man that she has a crush on. The other club is ran by her stepbrother. And I'm... But she's tell... Didn't she just tell me to hook up with somebody? So... She want me to hook up with her man? Or her stepbrother? Whatever. Uh, they're, tr they're trying to make me, ha like, do something with somebody that's in relation to her. I'm just like, mm, I don't know about this. All right, since he, okay, so he, his GPA has been the highest in every class since he was able to walk, so he's very smart. I didn't know Thomas went here too. Oh, I know, I know him, okay. That is her, her, Blair is my best friend, so that makes sense. You know, I hate talking about him, he's such an ass. Well, what about the club then? I don't know much about them. I know they're big on grades and have the best tutors. They can probably get you an internship with top researchers or shadowing doctors this summer if you get in. Bro, why? I don't want to say this though. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to say that I don't care. Well, there is investments club. Tell me about investments. Okay. They're one of the hardest clubs to get into. I know they pull their membership dues, and actually put money into the stock market. Really? Yeah, they can make serious bank. Plus, they throw the best parties on campus. People say if you're in that club, you're set for life. You could probably intern with Hall Street execs or real estate firms with them. Who runs it? 
bro why is this game trying to set me up right now <laughs> like, why is this game trying to set me up this game knows what it's doing like i'm not allowed to be on one of the other clubs right but this club oh this club i'm interested in and look who runs it oh this guy bryce he really he's really into the whole frat and party scene his family owns like half the school and his family owns half the school well, good thing I didn't throw a box at him, so that was a good choice. Oh, what? Tell Blair about this morning. Blair doesn't need to know about this morning. I mean, if she's my best friend, I should be able to trust my best friend, right? So why wouldn't I tell her? So let's go ahead and tell her. Long story, but when I was moving in this morning, he was naked in my room. I think he'd just gotten out of the shower. He's dating my roommate, who's a total bitch. She said she was going to report me to her dean for harassing her and Bryce. Your roommate is Trish the bitch? Ew. I heard she's repeating her freshman year because she left school early last semester. <clears throat> not her repeating, hello? Why did she leave early? I'm not really sure. Something to do with a meltdown or going to a mental hospital or something. Wow, sounds serious. Yeah, she's got some real issues, but she chose the wrong girl to mess with. Don't worry, I'll make sure she'll get a taste of her own medicine. Okay, my bestie got my back. That's what I'd like to hear. Well, little does she know, I've got Bryce's pop me. You sneaky bitch. Oh, you're going to be so much trouble. I love it. Well, only if I have my partner in crime. Don't worry, girl, I got you. But before we cause too much trouble, we need to join one of these clubs before they pack up. Which one are you thinking of joining? Well, can I actually choose out of all of them? Actually, I'd rather look for a job. Oh my gosh. Bruh. Not them, not them now giving me a choice. I thought they were going to just, you know, I thought, I thought they were going to just choose for me. Hold on, let me close this stuff. Oh man. Okay. We need to weigh, we need to, we need to wear choices here. So investments club is ran by Bryce, the one who is dating my roommate. He also seems to be kind of a fuck boy. He's a frat boy. I have his pop me, so he seems fairly nice. He hasn't really done anything wrong to me. Um, he just seems like he seems like a fuck boy, but I mean, I don't really care because his girlfriend was mean to me, so I really, I really don't care. You know, if she was nice to me, then it, it would be different, but I don't care. He's probably tired of her too. Um, he owns half the school. I'll probably be set for life if I do well in this club. I can get on his good side. They, there's probably gonna be a lot of partying. Okay. Science Society is ran by my best, my best friend's stepbrother, Thomas. Um, they seem very smart, smartsy, I guess. He, he has a super high GPA, always has, apparently. Um, what is that dynamic gonna be, be like though? And then the Arts Association is ran by her man or the guy she likes. And they they have a lot of drugs and stuff. I don't know, Demona. Do you wanna get a job, but I wonder if I have a choice to get a job later or if it's like, if you don't choose now, then you're screwed. Why do you say, why do you guys say get money? What if my option for getting money isn't as great? Hi, Tyler. Welcome to the crazy ass stream. Oh, you're saying the investment group. What about you, Raz? Were you saying to look for a job or were you saying to do the investment, the investments club? Bruh, that's going to be drama. That's going to be freaking drama working with Bryce. That man's wiener was like about to fly out at the beginning of the stream. I'm saying job because your funds are looking low right now. Oh my gosh. But if I do the investments club, mm, I might be, you know, I might not even have to work. 
I say investment club or the one with the stepbrother. Okay. All right, let's 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 just try the investments club right now, even though I'm not even really interested in that, but I feel like that could bring some interesting drama. So let's go with that. Investments club sounds good to me. It's a total sausage party. You'd be the only girl there, but good luck. Oh, shit. Well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Damn, I thought the next time I saw you, I'd be in your room with nothing but a towel on. <laughs> That's funny. A little role reversal, huh? That can totally be arranged. I'll believe you when it happens. Oh yeah, you busy this weekend? I have to wait a whole week? Investments Club's having our initiation. Trish isn't in the club, so... Technically, I'm not in the club yet either. If you come by this weekend, you won't have to worry about going through a million tests like the other losers on the wait list. You'll be my first pick to join this semester. Oh my gosh, this guy is such a fuckboy. Well, it sounds like there is one thing I'll still have to do to get in. Maybe, maybe not. So what do you say, Deja? Are you coming on Friday? Oh my gosh, bro. I kind of want to say no. <laughs> I kind of want to say no just to see what he says. Because he's being kind of, he's being a little bit forward. I'm going to say no. Sorry, I'll be busy then. What a tease. Guess you'll have to get on the wait list like everyone else. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll join the waitlist. Fine, sign me up for the waitlist. Cool, we've got an informational meeting Friday morning. If spots open up, you might be able to snag one there. See you there. Hey, so how'd that go? Could have gone a lot better, but at least I got on the waiting list. Did it have anything to do with the drama this morning? I'm sure what happened this morning didn't help. Dean Monroe. Hello, ladies. Dean Monroe, sorry, didn't see you there. Never mind that, Miss Anderson. I'm glad I ran into you, Deja. You are? Yes, how have you been adjusting on your first day at Sugardale? Have you met your roommate yet? Oh shit, I hope this isn't about this morning. Did Trish really tell on me to Ardeen? Have you met your roommate yet? Um, I mean, I'm gonna just be honest. I actually have, yes. I'm glad to hear it. I anticipate you'll adjust well to Sugardale with your academic rec record in history. If you need help with anything, please seek out the campus resources at hand. I'm a busy man, so try not to bother me too much. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like I shouldn't... Oh my gosh, though. I don't know. Should I should I bring this up right now, guys? Should I bring up the Trish thing or should I just kind of keep it to myself and not make a huge deal about it? Because she could have just been talking out of her ass, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I snitch? But what if she goes and snitches on me later? I don't know. I just don't want to make a huge deal out of nothing, but... Run her ass over. Oh my gosh, snitch. Okay, yeah, let's snitch on her. You guys are right. Well, actually, Dean, I had a bit of a problem with my roommate Trish earlier today. Her roommate had a guy in the room, and if I recall, that's not allowed in freshman dorms. Is that true? Well, I'll have to tr speak with Patricia then. I'd keep an eye on her. She's already caused so much trouble this morning with Deja over this. Thank you, Blair. I'll keep that in mind. Good thing I told Blair about this morning. At least she was able to back me up. True. Anyway, I didn't mean to come here to interrogate you. I need to meet with you tomorrow morning. What about your financial aid situation? I want to respect your privacy since we're in your friend's company, but I expect to see you tomorrow in my office at 7 a.m. 7? Yes, 7 sharp. See you there, Deja. Who is even up that early? And a meeting about financial aid does not sound good at all. I know. Don't psych me out, though. I've already got enough to deal with today. I just want a coffee and something sweet. I know the perfect place. You know, I've never been able to really explore Sugardale before. So which line are we taking? Well, Sugardale is split up into four major districts. All right, let's hear about the North. What's up there? That's Saccharine Summit. Sashem? Sa sa Sassum? For short. You take the orange line from here to get there. It's where all the super rich people live. You know that guy Pierce on VidTalk? VidTalk? Who? You're kidding me. One of the, you don't know one of the biggest influencers in the world? The guy who 
gives away money to people and does pranks and never heard of him. Wow, well, he lives up there along with every other person who's got real money in this city. What, what did she say his name was? <laughs> A Pierce, that's his name. Okay, so that's the rich area. What about the east? So what's that part of town known for? Toffee Springs? You take the red line from here to get there. Super rough side of town, don't ever go there alone. Why would I even go there if it's that rough? My ex's dealer used to live around there. He hated going there, but he always said it was the best place to get the best stuff. I've never been, but if you're ever hard up for high quality drugs, I guess you could risk it. Just be careful. Kind of cute, okay? Sure, whatever you say. All right, let's hear about the West. What's it like on the West side of town? That's Honeywood. We're taking the green line to get to the cafe up there. They've got the best clubs, lots of cute cute places to shop. It's just really expensive. It's definitely where you want to spend your free time outside of school if you have the cash. It looks like a really nice part of town. It is. I used to hang there all the time when Gabe and I were still together. He used to live there. Okay, so this is Gabe. This is the guy that's in my thumbnail. So that's her ex. Is he still living around there now? Who knows? He could be living in a cardboard box for all I care now. And let's hear about the South. So what's in the South? We're in the South. It's where Sugar Dough U is, duh. Oh, right. This place is so much bigger than I expected it to be. The college tours barely mention anything off campus. That's not a mistake. Sugar Dough townies and the students have a weird beef with each other. It's the reason we aren't allowed to live off campus until we're seniors. I thought you said Gabe lived in town. He dropped out after his first semester. Why do you keep bringing him up? I'm not, I just, watch out. What the fuck, that car did not just splash that dirty puddle onto me. It definitely did. I can't walk around town looking like this. Well, it's a 20 minute walk back to the dorms and I think I see the bus just down the street. Please tell me you're kidding. I'm not, but the Honeywood bus stop lets us, let's right off in front of this really cute boutique. We can just go in there and get you some new clothes before we stop at the cafe. All right, guess that will work. This is so embarrassing, my shirt is see-through. People are staring, I can tell. Claire, am I crazy or did someone just take a picture of me? I think you're overreacting, girl. We're almost there, don't worry, just two more stops. Bitch, somebody just took a picture of me. Bro took Justin Bieber's entire aesthetic. <laughs> Finally, I can't wait to get out of these grimy clothes. Watch out not have enough money for the good shit. This is one of my favorite places to go in town. They've got cute stuff. Uh, they've got such cute stuff and perfect for any occasion. I just need something that's not wet or dirty or ruined. Well, go try something on. All right, time to get out of these. This is perfect. She put on a damn dress. Holy crap. Are you okay in there? They better not tell me I could steal this. You didn't tell me this place was so expensive. I told you Honeywood wasn't cheap. Only half 50 bucks. You showed up to your first day of college with only $50, really? How were you expecting to pay for books or food or anything? My financial aid should have gone through by now. I was waiting on that to come through for pocket money. Well, you won't get far around Honeywood with only 50. Here, how about you try this on? It's the cheapest thing in the store. No way. Oh, come on, it's not that bad, it's cute. Plus it's on sale, only $45. If I move the wrong way, I'm gonna fall out of the top. It's the only thing in here that's in your budget. It's either this or your old clothes. Oh my gosh, she's trying to have me have a nip slip, guys. Whatever. We about to be broke as hell. Bro, I'm about to be broke as hell. But I could save my money and that might come in handy later. Hmm. But if I wear this outfit, I might impress the right people at the at the coffee shop, you know? Hmm. Just wear the old fit. <laughs> With the see-through top. Whatever, I'll wear the old clothes. It's not worth it, let's just go. I'm sure my clothes will be dry by the time we get to the cafe. That's bold, but whatever you say, let's get out of here. Finally, ugh, I've been dreaming about an ice latte from this place all day. What? My clothes still aren't dry, I look terrible. 
You're all right, just don't bring attention to it. If you ever save up, save up enough, you can always get a car so you don't have to risk it next time. How often could this even happen? I was just standing too close to the curb. Remember when I said this town has a weird beef with the students? You mean someone did this on purpose? They could have, who knows, townies are weird. I'll take whoever's next in line. Hopefully a sweet drink will calm my nerves a bit. Uh-oh, it's Gabe, Blair's ex. Oh my gosh. Welcome to Sweet Bean Cafe. What can I get started for you? Blair? Uh, when did you start working here? Since I dropped out of SU. Hey, aren't you Deja? Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't really know. I don't want her to get mad at me though. I'm gonna pretend not to know all. Yeah, and you are? Gabriel, or er, Gabe, just call me Gabe. I'm pretty sure we met last year. Maybe, I don't know, I just moved here, so I'm meeting a lot of people. For sure, for sure. So can we order or, huh? He can't keep his eyes off my chest. Oh yeah, get, sure, get whatever you want on the house. Welcome to Sugardale. You're fucking kidding me. Chill out, Blair. Yeah, Blair, what's the issue? The issue, Gabe, you're really going to stand there and hit on my best friend in front of me? I'm not hitting on anyone. I'm being nice and helping your friend out. Bullshit. If you stared any harder at her chest, your eyes would fall out. You've always been such a flirt. It's probably why you broke up with me in the first place. You just wanted to fuck other girls. You are causing a scene. Good. Maybe you'll lose your job over it. It'll save you the trouble of quitting yet another good thing. Uh, Blair? Don't worry, Deja. Blair's just having another one of her little tantrums. I'll be right back, but someone else will take care of you. No, Gabe. This isn't a tantrum. I'm just telling you that you a truth you don't want to hear. You're a non-committal piece of shit. Blair, back room now. I watched as Gabe darted around the counter and grabbed Blair by the arm. Before I knew, know it, they both disappeared down a hallway away from the crowd of the cafe. Everyone has their eyes glued to the scene. Holy shit, Blair told me they broke up, but I didn't know it was that bad. I don't think I've ever seen her that angry before. Hello, can I help you? What? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, no, you can help the next person in line. I have to make sure Blair's all right. Gabe sounded really angry, and I didn't like the way he grabbed her and dragged her away. I saw them disappear down this hall. It's empty from what I can see, just a door to a bathroom and what looks like a storage closet around the corner. Not her standing there with her mouth open. Bruh, I'm scared of what I'ma see. Wait a minute, bruh. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Guys, I'm scared. Bruh, I'm scared. I'm scared to be full screen. We already done seen somebody in a towel. Is this really how you're going to be, huh? Is this how you're going to be? Don't play dumb with me, Gabe. I saw the way you were looking at her. It sounds like they're in the storage closet. I should keep an eye on them just to make sure things don't get out of hand. I'll just peek through the door. You are such a fucking brat. Everything always has to be about you. Coming from the biggest narcissist I know, Blair looks like she's going to cry. She's so angry. Bro, they about to do some freaky shit. <laughs> there seems to be a lot of unresolved tension here. I'm at my limit with you, so I'll only... Say this once, you need to leave now and don't come back here until you learned how to act like a fucking adult. You are the last person to talk about being an adult. I'm not leaving and you can't make me. Oh my. Demona, here's your thumbnail. Here is your thumbnail, Demona. No, the <laughs> Bro, this is what I saw. This is what I saw on Twitter, bro. Hold up, I, I, gotta, I, gotta test, I gotta test this sensor out. Okay, Gabe says, I almost forgot how stubborn you were. And then she says, Gabe. And then he says, what was that? Is the little brat finally learning how to shut her pretty mouth? He traces a tattooed finger over bottom lip while keeping a tight grip on her throat. Okay, bruh. I'm gonna read a few more lines and... and I'm not an idiot, Blair. This is what Gabe is saying. I'm not an idiot, Blair. I know you've been coming here every day for the last week hoping to run into me. What were you hoping would happen, hmm? I'd see you and forget how terrible we were together, all the fights, all the jealousy. Blair barely whimpered a response. I leaned forward to try and hear better. I didn't forget, I can't. 
also can't forget how much all that fighting turned me on is what this is what Gabe is saying. Even though his strong hand is wrapped around her neck, he's looking at her with a hunger I've never seen before. That's my character. Okay. Look at me. You feel that? <laughs> what, what kind of relationship is this? What kind of relationship is this? Bruh, I'm scared. I'm like, bruh, I'm like legit scared. Y'all can read this y'all self. I'm like a little kid right now. I've been there. Demona's a freak. I'm scared. Her eyes are wide, but the less is heavy in the air between them. You guys are in the, right, you guys are in the coffee shop, okay? Gabe, you're about to get fired. Blair's voice comes out in a whisper. I can see her body start to move against his slowly. Her gray dress inches up her thighs as she presses her hips against his. It's not right. Instead of being out there doing my fucking job, I'm in here thinking about all the ways I'm going to ruin you, thinking about all the ways I'll have to put you in your place. Falling for a stock forever 21. <laughs> oh my gosh. He whispers into her ear and presses his body against her. She's pinned between him and the wall, but she she looks anything but panicked. I see the outline of his, his sweatpants as he grinds into her. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Minutes ago, they were going to kill each other, and now they look like they're about to rip each other's clothes off. Stay and keep watching. Bruh, I'm leaving. I feel very uncomfortable. If this was me and and my, if this was me and like one of my little bays in the town, cool, but I'm not about to sit here and watch y'all. I'm not about to sit here. Bruh, y'all have your fun. Have your fun. I already, I've seen enough. I better get out of here. Clearly those two have a lot to figure out. No wonder their breakup seems so messy. Wow, I think I've seen enough today. Time slows to a crawl as I wait for Blair to come out of the cafe. That's pretty. Bro, what the hell? So what was that all about? I don't want to talk about it. Let's just get back to campus. But seriously, I don't want to talk about it. Let's go. OK, OK, whatever you say. Later that night. Wow, what a day. I feel like I've been here a week and I haven't even started classes yet. Good thing my roommate isn't around to make the end of the day any more stressful. I need a hot shower and to get some food, some good sleep before my first day of classes tomorrow. But yeah, guys, there there would have been if I didn't have a sensor on, there would have been a picture. I don't know if I would have seen it if I had stayed and watched or what, but there was like there was a very explicit photo floating on Twitter. Somebody had a piercing somewhere like. Huh, surprisingly clean bathrooms, considering the awful smell in the hallway. Finally, I've been looking forward to the shower. Ah, that feels so nice. Perfect after such a crazy day. I should have known I was in for a lot when I got here and met Bryce and Trish. I was definitely shocked. I saw Bryce in my dorm first thing, but I'm lucky I was able to get his pop me before his girlfriend came back. As if my whole morning wasn't enough, I had to meet my nightmare of a roommate, Trish. I tried to at least be nice to her, but she wasn't having it at all. Good thing I didn't have to deal with her at the club fair, even though Blair was late meeting up with me. It was nice to have her show me around. I'm pretty excited I have a shot at joining the investment club. I don't know what to expect this weekend, but I'm sure I'll have what it takes to join. Of course, I couldn't forget about when Dean Monroe cornered me before we left the fair. I like how they're kind of like recapping everything that's happened so far. I had to get back at Trish and tell him what happened this morning. Wait a minute, so y'all never got the coffee nor food and she popped out like nothing happened? Never go with her to the coffee spot, facts. Yeah, she, she was back there getting dogged out. Good thing I told Blair about this morning and she backed me up. Otherwise, Dee Monroe might not have believed me. And then, of course, Dee Monroe had to mention a problem with my financial aid. He didn't say what the problem was, but I have to meet him early tomorrow morning before classes to talk about it. It's probably why the money still hasn't cleared in my account yet. It was a relief to finally get off campus after all that, only for my clothes to get ruined by some asshole driver. And then, of course, there was a whole scene at the cafe. I knew Blair and Gabe had a rocky breakup, but I'm more confused than ever about them now. I didn't stay and watch what happened between them, but judging by how they were talking to each other, I'm pretty sure I know what happened. As eventful as today was, I'm glad I finally get to wash off and enjoy this warm water smooth over my skin. Hmm, maybe I should enjoy my shower a little more. I'm not masturbating on my first day. I'm not really in the mood for that right now. 
I lather up with soap and let the wa warm water relax my muscles. Ah, this is so nice and relaxing. I close my eyes and tilt my head back, relishing in the best shower ever. What was that? Go investigate, finish enjoying shower. No, we investigate him. What the hell? I have to see what the hell that was. I don't even rinse off, hopping out of the shower and hastily wrapping myself in my towel. I notice just outside the window, a shadowy figure runs away. Was I being spied on? Rushing outside the door in cold air makes me shiver as I scan the quad for the figure I saw earlier. Not a soul in sight. Frustrated, bitch, why are you outside in a towel? Frustrated and cold, I turn to go back inside when I step on something. I look down to see it was a, see a silver ring with a fancy symbol engraved on it. Hmm, I feel like I've seen this before, I just don't know where. Is this Bryce? Bro, who the fuck was that? Not people taking pictures of me while I'm naked. What? 7.45? I definitely set my alarm for 6.45. Bro, Trish did that shit. I'm going to be late. Is everything all right, Rumi? No, my alarm went off an hour late and I was supposed to meet with Dean Monroe. Now I'm going to be late for class. Aw, so sad. Don't bitch about me to Dean Monroe and maybe your alarm will go off when it's supposed to. Excuse me? Oh, you thought I wouldn't find out about how you brought me up to Dean Monroe yesterday? He sent me a nice little email about what he heard from you yesterday during the fair. Really fucking classy, Deja. You fucked with my alarm over that? What the hell, Trish? I'm not admitting to anything. All I'm saying is watch your mouth. Now hurry along. I'd hate for you to be late to your first class. What an asshole. What a bitch. I can't believe Trish made me miss my meeting with the Dean this morning. Am I in the same outfit? What the hell? I can't let her get to me a second day in a row though. It's my first day of classes after all. I have to make it memorable. Now I have to get to Arroyo Hall. I know we all got college map brochures at orientation, but I do really want, but do I really want to be walking around with a huge map? Use college map, I can find class on my own. No, I'm using the map. I'll risk the embarrassment of looking lame for a few minutes. Besides, I can't risk being late, just wandering around. I hear the not so subtle laughter of a group of people as I wrestle open my huge map and squint out the tiny labels. Arroyo, 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 where are you? Ugh, how many buildings can they fit on this campus? After finally finding the, you know what, let me save it. What the hell? Uh, after finally finding the building on the map, I start my mini sprint to the class. Lost and found. On my way, I see Bryce looking through some stuff on a table. <laughs> you couldn't look any more like a freshman right now, Deja. I'm just trying to find my class. This campus is huge. You'll get used to it, but those maps are useless unless you want people to know you're a freshman. There's nothing wrong with using a map. Whatever you say. I'm going to be late, so... Hey, what's the rush? You've got time. Blow him off. Stay and talk. What does he want to talk about? What? I guess I can stay in chat, only for a bit. I really gotta get to class. You're an eager one, huh? I don't want to be that girl stumbling into class late while everyone stares at me. Of course not. You just want to be the girl stumbling around campus with a map twice her size. I can handle big things, Bryce. Don't worry about me. Oh, don't tease me, babe. Oh my gosh, bro. There's a body... Yes, there. there is a body count meter. And my goal is to have it as high as possible without being too crazy and just, you know, I kind of want to have some standards, but yeah, my goal is to have a body count high. I'm living vicariously through this video game, Tyler. Who said I'm teasing? Huh, you're trouble. Get out of here before that mouth gets you into something you can't get out of. I would if I knew where the hell I'm going. What building are you looking for? Arroyo Hall? Take the shortcut through the trees over there. Thanks. See you Friday, Deja. Looks like I got here just in time. Wow, who knew this many freshmen wanted to take an astrophysics seminar? I scan the room looking for an empty seat. Finally, my eyes lock in on an empty desk near the front. I squeeze into the seat beside a girl who looks just like she, who looks like she just stepped off my pop me feed. Hey, I'm Ruby. Ruby, is it Reyes? What is my last name? Guys, my last, my Palmer. God, I'm Deja Palmer. Hell yeah. Hey, Ruby, I'm Deja Palmer. I just like that. I've always liked that last name. Deja? That's such a cute name. I love that. Oh, thanks. Wow, this girl is really bubbly. So, is it just me, or should 8 a.m. classes on the first day of college be illegal or something? 
Oh my god, I know. Even worse when your roommate fucks with your alarm. Wait, what? It was a mistake, right? I wish. No, she made me miss a meeting I had with my dean this morning, and I almost ended up late for class, too. What a bitch. I'm so sorry. Thank god I don't have a roommate. Lucky. Yeah, I love it. I know having a roommate is a part of the college experience or whatever, but I couldn't imagine having someone else in my business all the time. I know it sounds dumb, but Sugardell's dorms were the reason I chose to go here. I saw them on the site and fell in love. Doesn't sound dumb to me. You know what you want. That's that's a good thing. So what made you choose Sugardell U? The academics, the town of Sugardell, the party scene. Um... The town. I wasn't so interested in the college as much as much as I was with the town of Sugardell. I just knew I wanted to move here and it made the most sense to go to school in the same city. It's a pretty nice town. I haven't seen much of it during the day, but I can tell you Honeywood is so pretty at nighttime. We should definitely hang out sometime. Sure, that would be cool. Want to take a pic to remember day one of college? Yeah, of course, girl. Oh, yeah. Bro, why my girl look like that? She's cute. She's on my list, guys. My God. So cute. I'm posting this right now. Give me your pop. I'll tag you. It's Ruby, baby. My God. Just then, a man in a suit walks down to the front of the class and writes his name on the chalkboard behind him. Professor McGregor. Hello, and welcome to the Astrophysics Freshman Seminar. I am Professor McGregor. Ruby leans in to whisper to me. The light scent of citrus and flowers wafts over from her perfume. More like Professor McDaddy. He's so hot. A bit about me. My favorite constellation is Andromeda. This is my fifth year teaching this course, and I think I fall in love with the stars more and more every time I do. I hope to pass some of that passion on to you. Looks like he stuck his face in charcoal. <laughs> oh my gosh. I will take whatever you want to give me. Prof oh my gosh. Holding in my laughter, I playfully elbow Ruby. Now for this course, we will have two papers, a midterm, and a final exam. Typically, I have a teaching assistant assigned at the beginning of the course, but I'm still struggling to secure a student for that position. Oh my gosh, bro. We'll have our opportunities for extra credit throughout, including right now. For an additional 0 .05 to your GPA, would anyone like to volunteer to answer a fun question? <clears throat> sure. I raise my hand, confident that I'm able to answer whatever he throws my way. His eyes snap immediately to me. Yes, you. First and last name, please. Deja Palmer. Well, Miss Palmer, thank you for being so eager to participate. Is our sun the largest star in our universe? Yeah, the sun is the largest star, right? Is this a trick question? I'm pretty sure it is. Solid effort, Deja, but the answer is actually no. Believe it or not, the sun is actually quite a small star. And the largest star we know of is the V.Y. Candace Majoris. Oh, fuck out of here, Professor McGregor. It's so large, in fact, you can fit over 9 billion suns inside of it. I appreciate your effort, though. Now I think we've had enough of a cl class primer. I'd like for us to get on with Chapter 1 concepts and an overview. Well, fuck you, Professor McGregor. <laughs> well, for an 8 a.m. class, it wasn't that bad. I might not have gotten that extra cred, but at least I learned something new. Hey girl, nice try with the extra cred in there. Too bad I didn't get it right. Well, I'm impressed you even tried. I'm sure Professor Daddy is too. Oh my gosh, if you keep calling him that, I might have to gag you. You almost made me laugh out loud in the middle middle of class. Don't threaten me with a good time. Oh my gosh. Anyways, I gotta get to class, but I'll hit you up on Pop Me. We're definitely hanging out. All right, cool. See you around. See ya. What a long day. Thank God I get to have some lunch before jumping back into it again. I know Blair said she had lunch at the same time as me today. I wonder where she is. She said she'd meet me here, but I wonder what's holding her up. This bitch late everywhere. Okay, this is weird. Maybe I should check in on her. <clears throat> I'm going to message her. All right, let's message her. I definitely should say something. She would at least message me if she were running late. Hey, you still meeting me for lunch? Hello, you there? 
So much for that. Guess I'll just have lunch alone today. I'm not in the mood today. I'll catch up with you later. Is everything all right? I don't want to talk about it, okay? Okay, feel better. She with the Justin Bieber dude. Do I even waste the data? Oh my God. I wonder what that's all about. I hope she's all right. I don't have much time before my next class though, so I should grab some food before then. Not her having an attitude. I probably jogged up eight flights of stairs trying to find this stupid class. I must be out of shape because I'm winded. I reach for the handle of the door for my final cl class of the day when a deep voice comes from behind me. Is this going to be Bryce? Oh, the Dean. Fuck. Deja, what a pleasant surprise. Dean Monroe. Hi, I didn't see you there. And I didn't see you this morning. I thought I was clear yesterday when I told you we had a meeting at 7 a.m. You were. I just had a bit of a run in with my roommate. She messed with my... I was also clear about you and Patricia needing to resolve your own issues between yourselves. What the hell? What part of stay out of trouble do you not understand? Right. I'm so sorry about missing this morning's meeting. Yes, well, the reason for our meeting was the status of your financial aid. Well, I would prefer to not talk about these things in the open. I have no idea if you can keep your appointments. So I will tell you while I have you here. I've been informed that your scholarship sponsor, the Bitter Bee Foundation, has been involved in a scandal of sorts. A scandal? Yes, they have been liquidating their assets at the breakneck speed. Or at a breakneck speed. I'm not too sure of the specifics, but the result of all of this is a bankruptcy and possible prison time for the owners. What the hell? What they got to do with me? That's too bad. Yes, well, this means they are letting down a number of students because of their lack of funds to support the scholarships they awarded for the academic year. Oh no, don't worry, Deja. We're not kicking you out on account of your scholarships, wire fraud and mismanagement. Sugardale University has an excellent network of alumni, parents and donors. We have decided to host a number of events to encourage donors to sponsor the students who have been let down by the Bitter Bee Scholarship fund. In the meantime, the university board has decided to waive your tuition for this semester only. Oh my gosh. Only this semester? Why only this semester? Our institution is not a charity. You are not the only student affected by this. We can only cover your tuition, no personal expenses. You really should be more thankful. We're doing everything in our power to the, in this odd circumstance. You have to pull your weight in this as well. Pull my weight? Yes, we expect you to match with the donor for your future semesters of tuition. There will be a sponsored dinner this week or next week and we have invited some of the most generous donors to this event. You should have good luck finding a sponsor there. It is best to bring your A-game, so to speak. I'll send an email later this week with the details. Bro. My best friend got an ad to, he got an ad to, everybody got an ad to. That's why I liked meeting Ruby, because she was like a breath of fresh air. Okay, sounds good. Thank you for letting me know, Dean Monroe. Yes, well, just be sure to keep this appointment for next week. You need to be on your best behavior and be a model representative for our school. Your entire financial si situation depends on it, so be vigilant. Yes, sir. I'll leave you to it. Goodbye. Bye. He's a dick. I don't like him. Ugh, he was really annoyed with me. It was all Trisha's fault for making me late this morning, and it sucks that my scholarship doesn't exist anymore. At least I won't have to worry about this semester's tuition. I just have to find a replacement donor at that dinner party next week. How I'm expected to convince some rich guy to pay $40,000 for the next three years, I have no idea, but I'll worry about that later. I'm late for class. Bro, Trish, I'm gonna kill her the next day. Well, things were pretty eventful yesterday. I'm glad this morning was calm by comparison. Luckily, Trish had class earlier than I did, so I haven't seen her at all. The classes I've had this morning were nothing to write home about. Phew, I'm so glad I get to take a little break in between classes. You'd think that on the second day of school, they take it easy, but I'm learning so much. I'm even a little worried I might not remember it all, but I guess that's what studying is for. Just as I start to walk towards the dining hall, I feel the harsh buzz of my phone in my back pocket. Looks like Dad's checking in again. Hey, sweetie, how's Sugar Dough treating you? My scholarship was taken away, Dad. What? It's only been two days. What happened? I don't really know. The scholarship fund got into some scandal. And now they don't have the money to fund scholarships they give. Or they gave. That's terrible. I'm so sorry to hear. You're not going to help at all? I wish I could, Deja, but I don't have much to give between the bills and expenses here. I'm sure the school will help you out, though, right? Just for this semester. After that, I'm on my own. 
We can figure it out when we get there then. I have to go, but I want to let you know, Rosalie and, our, and I are still coming, are still planning on coming for parents weekend in a few weeks. Sure. Rosalie and I really miss you. Can't wait to see you then. Love you. Why did I even bother telling him about my financial aid problems? Of course he wouldn't offer to help. He can barely hold on to a dollar. We were doing all right before Rosalie came around. His money always ends up with her or her dogs. I'll just wait to see what that whole donor dinner is about. I'm sure I'll be able to find someone who will respond for me. I started to put my phone away in my back pocket when it buzzes again. This man just sent me $20. I mean, at least he sent something. Everyone need to come down around 10 notches. Notches. Did she just type silence? <laughs> she probably typed dots, like dot, dot, dot. Really, dad? $20, does he really think that's gonna help at all? Ugh, whatever. I mean, he's trying. He could have not sent anything, so. I don't know why Blair complained so much about the food here last year. It's actually pretty good. A little greasy, sure, but I can't complain. Definitely better than Rosalie's sad excuse for home cooked meals. I dump out my tray at a washing bin and turn to leave the dining hall. Just as I leave, the bulletin board in the hallway catches my eye. The school paper headline stands out in a sea of posters and tacked up on the board. The Sugardale Cent Sentinel or Cent Centennial. Sugardale's U District sees increased drug activity. Oh my gosh. Sugardale's University District has seen a steady increase in drug related crime since last spring. There have been numerous arrests made in the district as well as reports of high volume drug deals, risky behavior, and violent crime. Residents of the Honeywood and Sacherine Summit districts worry this may be indicative of a breakdown within our quaint city's underworld. For the past half decade, it's widely, if quietly, understood that fallout from unlawful activities has been largely contained within the boundaries of Toffee Springs, thanks to the firm influence of the fabled Sugar Man. The man rumored to live at the outskirts of Toffee Springs was known to sell drugs throughout Sugardale's districts from an ever-evolving fleet of soccer mom vehicles. What the hell? He was the guy. You didn't call anyone else, recounted Tessa Lebowitz, an SU sophomore. Who wants to deal with some weirdo sketch ball when you can buy from the Sugar Man? He was such a cool ass dude. But the Sugar Man's campus monopoly may have ran out last year, some students say. His grip on the market at large deteriorating along with it. Hello. I think it was last April that some new dealer started flooding campus with really cheap shit. Really good though too. And using students to sell for him, notes one Sugar Dale senior preferring to remain anonymous. The convenience of immediate access and the prices, it just put the sugar man out of business, I think, you know? By finals week last year, half my class was selling something. Sugardale Police Chief Helms states that the reported activity in recent months differs from what we saw in previous years. Harder drugs at a higher volume with more violence is not what we're used to around here. Students are advised to be on the lookout for any suspicious activity on campus. If they see something, they are encouraged to report it immediately to Sugardale Police using the anonymous tip line at 202-555-0162. Well, they didn't mention any of that in the college brochure. Sounds like there's a real drug problem starting around here, though. I wonder if the Sugar Man is the same dealer that Blair mentioned Sunday when she was telling me about the neighborhoods around here. Imagine finding three bricks of drugs beside Capri Suns and oranges. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Should I take that tip line number just in case? <clears throat> I mean, I was about to say, well, how did I get $70? But I forgot he gave me 20 bucks. Oh, that's my save. I see. Um, I mean, I, I, I guess. Might as well. I just got here and I never know what kind of trouble could be lurking around. Besides, an increase in violent crime sounds really serious. I can never be too careful. Well, don't want to be late for my next my next class. I set the newspaper back on the rack and merge into the crowd of other students making their way to class. Finally, another day done. I think I'm really getting the hang of these classes. I've got quite a bit of free time on my hands now. What should I do? Study or post some pics to pop me? Let's post some pics. It's such a beautiful day and I look really cute. I can't let this go to waste. All right, let's see. What kind of pic should I take? A cute selfie or a thirst trap? <laughs> uh, let's... <laughs> I kind of want to do a thirst trap. I wonder what she's going to do. Um, let's do a thirst trap. Time to give them something to talk about. I look so good. Okay, sis. Oh, I got more followers. Okay. 
Looks like I got some new followers from it already. Might as well keep finding cool places to suppose. I've got the rest of the day to myself anyways. Later that evening. Day two down, time to turn in for the night. I got lucky not having to deal with Trish all day, but unfortunately I'll have to see her when I get back to my room. Maybe if I'm lucky, she'll be asleep by now. This bitch not gonna be asleep. Why is the door locked? She locked me out? Does Trish seriously lock me out of my own room? Just as I raise my fist to pound on the door, I pause. I hear a faint squeaking just beyond the wooden thin door. The thin wooden door. Pressing my ear closer to it, the sound of squeaking grows louder, rhythmic, joining the chorus of labored breathing. You like that, huh? <laughs> oh my god, this bitch. Oh, yeah. Did they really have to do that in our dorm? Doesn't Bryce have his own place? You're probably thinking of her right now, aren't you? The squeaking continues at a faster pace, but Bryce doesn't seem to respond. Answer me, asshole. What? You're imagining I'm her right now. Just admit it. Oh my god, please stop talking. The squeaking continues faster and more forceful than before. Muffled moans escape Trisha's throat, and I almost forget about the strange exchange between the two moments before. Someone passes by in the hall and gives me a strange look. I step back from the door, cheeks hot, as I realize how weird I must look right now. Crossing my arms around myself, I decide to step outside and get some fresh air. God, that was awkward. I wonder what the hell Trish was talking about. She sounded a little nuts. Who would say something like that when you're being intimate with someone? I shivered in the brisk night air and held my arms closer to my chest. Who knows how long those two will be at it. Most buildings on campus are closed, but I heard about a 24-7 store on campus. Maybe a hot tea will warm me up. I'm sure by the time I've gotten it and come back, those two will be done. At least I hope so. This tea will definitely warm me up. The cozy scent of my tea wafts into my nose and calms my nerves. I let out a long sigh and bask in it for a bit while I wait in line to pay. The conversation between the cashier and the guy in front of me is hard to ignore, though. That will be fifteen sixty-four. Seriously? Are those are these condoms made out of gold or something? I hold back a giggle behind my paper cup. I don't set the prices, man. Either you buy it or you don't. Do you have any cheaper ones back there? We have whatever's out on the rack. <clears throat> You're really helpful, you know that? Your manager should definitely put you up for a promotion. Here, take all the cash in my wallet. It should cover it. You're a dollar short. Oh, come on. It's just a dollar. If you can't pay, I'm going to have to ask you to move aside so I can take the next customer in line. Bro, he better not ask me for shit. Dude, it's just a dollar. Should I help him out? It is only a dollar. I'll give him a fucking dollar, whatever. Hey, I got it. Really? Yeah, it's just a dollar. No problem. Thanks. Next, just the tea. Yep, that'll be one dollar. Thanks. I head outside, cupping my hands around the steaming cup of bliss. Those college drawers are no joke and you broke too. The cold air around me doesn't bother me nearly as much with the tea in my hands. My lips purse to take my first sip when I hear a familiar voice come from behind me. Good tea, huh? I am showing up behind me. What? Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's my favorite. Oh my gosh, I don't fucking like- Y'all know how I feel about tea, bruh. All this shit nasty. Why couldn't it have been a chai tea? <laughs> I don't want any of these shits. Black tea? That sound nasty. They all sound nasty to me. Green tea is definitely nasty. Bruh. Black tea? The tea dishes make this crazy. Ah, Demona, I know. I know you like this nasty shit. Whatever. Black tea. Cool. I'm Jace, by the way. Deja, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming in the clutch back there. I owe you one. You're fine, really. It's just a dollar. Don't worry about it. Yeah, but my sweet mate sent me out on a mission to get these for him. So if I come back empty, so if I came back empty handed, he never let me hear the end of it. Oh, it's for his his roommate. Wow, two days in and everyone on this campus is screwing except for me. This might be TMI, but I just got back from taking a few pics around campus and my roommate locks me out of our room because she's fucking her boyfriend must be rough being a freshman huh how'd you know most sophomores or juniors figure out a way to get a suite or live alone and i know there's no way you're a senior i would have definitely remembered if i'd seen you on campus before well then you totally get it i hate having a roommate she's a nightmare i've been there my freshman year was sucky why is that oh shitty hmm hmm <laughs> But I lucked out when I met my friend, Sean. He's a year ahead of me, but he let me share a suite with him my sophomore year. We've been suite mates since then. Black tea is the best. Mm. 
He's a year ahead of me, but he let me share a suite with him my sophomore year. We've been suite mates since then. Since you're locked out of your room, do you feel like making a condom run with me? Oh my gosh. We'll be like the sugar man, but we'll be like the sugar man, but for safe sex. Sugar man, like that article mentioned, I guess everyone really knew that guy. Yeah, might as well. Sure, why not? Cool, we're at the top of the hill here. We fall into step beside each other. I sip my warm tea as we make our way up the grassy hill. So does your sweet mate always send you out for condoms? No, I honestly think he just comes up with excuses to get me out of our suite while when his girl comes over. He's been doing this since the end of last year. I've never seen this girl come in or go out, but I'm starting to think she's not real. How do you know it's the same girl? What if he's just bringing home a new one every time? Trust me, it's the same girl. Last year, he did not care who I saw coming in and out of our room. I don't know what the hell happened, but he started screwing around with one chick and never let me know anything about her. Not even her name, not her real one. He calls her Julie, but it just sounds like a fake name, doesn't it? You're totally right. I wonder why he's so secretive about her. Bro, what if it's Trish? That's gonna be funny. Who fucking knows? He's one of my closest friends, but he can be really sketchy sometimes. Ooh, or what if it's, what if it's Blair? Well, I guess there's really no such thing as a perfect roommate. Huh, maybe not. We reach the entrance to his building and I feel the natural end of the conversation approaching. But to my surprise, he keeps it going. What if it's a dude? That's that's also, yeah, may, maybe he, maybe he's in a guise, who knows? You could totally come up if you want. I got some jade leaf, I could smoke you out as a thank you. I only gave you a dollar, you really don't have to do anything to pay me back, I insist. Sure, let's smoke. You know what, sure, why not, I've got time. Sweet, let's do it. Whoa, there's no way the sweets are this nice. It looks like a penthouse up here. Sorry, it's a bit of a mess. A mess, what are you talking about? This place looks amazing. Why this shit tilted, the fuck? Thanks, it's all Sean though. His family, bro, you there? Took you long enough, what the hell? Oh, I'm sorry, was free delivery not fast enough for you? Whatever, dude, where are they? Jace tosses Sean the condoms and he catches them effortlessly. His eyes catch on me for a moment and a frown settles on his handsome face. She's not staying, is she? Dude, she's not staying long, chill out. Sean, baby! <laughs> a woman's voice calls out from his room and for a second, Sean looks like his eyes will fall out of his skull. Without even a second to spare, Sean turns and darts back to the room he came from. Great, yet another person who has an issue with me for no reason. Don't worry about him. He gets ske sketchy when Julie's here. Jace vaults himself over the back of the couch in a way only someone athletic could. I catch a peek of his toned abs as he lands perfectly on the couch. You must work out a lot. I'm not in the gym all day or anything. I just have to train for soccer. He grabs a fancy looking blue bond from underneath the coffee table in front of him. Next, a baggie, a full, a baggie full of jade leaf and some kind of tool I know nothing about. The earthy pungent smell hits me. Although I've never smoked it, I can tell from the smell alone is strong. He passed the spot beside him on the couch and I sit. So soccer, huh? Yeah, I'm co-captain. You play any sports? No, I don't have enough time in my schedule. He grins and sprinkles some of the jade leaf into the metallic tool. He picks it up and starts twisting it. Must be a grinder or something. Let me guess, you're in a club? How'd you know? His grin whitens as he pinches a small bunch of jade leaf and packs it into the bong. Everyone here is in a club. I never understood it. Well, they're not that bad. They seem pretty fun, honestly. Seems like they're more drama than worth it. Seems like they're more drama than they're worth if you ask me. All right, ladies first. He winks and tilts the bong toward me. I hope he doesn't think I'm lame for not knowing how to do any of this. I can pretend I know what I'm doing. I've seen enough movies to figure this out. I inhale and the almost too warm smoke fills my head with a cloudy, heady fog. I sit back and feel anxious letting the smoke into my lungs. But I pull the smoke into my chest and immediately feel a spice, harsh sensation sizzle down my throat and into my lungs. I'm coughing, nearly hacking my lungs out as I push the bong away from me. He chuckles as white smoke comes from my nose and mouth and large violent plumes. Take it easy, Deja. He pats my back and my eyes water from the harsh burn I still feel. First time, huh? Is it really that obvious? Nah, you just took it like a rookie. You're about to hack a lung out on me. He laughs before taking a hit from the bong. Wow, he must be a pro, he's not even coughing. He holds it for a moment before exhaling a smooth stream of smoke. Show off. Nah, you just need a little practice. Oh yeah, how much practice will I need before I can be as good as you? Well, he's interrupted by the rhythmic pounding sound that rattles the wall to Sean's bedroom. I'd heard the same sounds only an hour ago when I heard Bryce and Trish in my room. There's no mistake Sean and his mystery girl were fucking and pretty hard by the sound of it. The girl's moans echo into the living room and I can't fight the nervous giggles that bubble out of me. 
I'm he he. I'm so sorry. I can't control my laughter. He's going to think I'm insane with all my laughing. You're good. It's just hitting you right now. My eyelids feel heavy and my body feels warm and flush. I'm sure he's right. Sorry about them. They, uh, they'll be at it all night. Wait, really? They fuck like rabbits. I swear to God. A heavy male grunt comes through the walls and I feel heat settle slow in my stomach. But I guess I'm the idiot for getting them condoms to do it. He laughs, but it slowly dies down with the growing noises from Sean's room. Our eyes lock and I feel funny like my fingers are buzzing and my heart is racing in and everything in me is throbbing, pulsing in a slow, heavy beat. Jace clears his throat and shifts on the couch. I could easily see the imprint of his... Why are, you, why are we looking at this guy's dick? Straining against the fabric of his shorts. I see it, a mix of embarrassment, curiosity, and eagerness in his eyes. You probably don't want to hear them all night. I'm sure it's fucking with your high. Yeah, I should go. <laughs> I'm out of here. Yeah, I should probably head out. Damn, sorry, Deja. Don't worry about it. I had a good time. I feel so weird right now. Like my mouth is moving on its own or something. Must have been some strong shit to get me this fucked up so fast. You good? Look at my, what the hell? Yeah, it's pretty new to me. You'll be good. Just sleep it off if you start feeling paranoid or whatever. I nod and feel my head move through the air like syrup. I'll see you around, Jace, later. I make it to my floor after what seems like both forever and one second. Time doesn't make completely silent hall to my door. My thoughts swim in fog as I try to remember my room number. 107, 710, are there even seven floors in this building? By some miracle, I find the right door and push through it. I come in and swim in the dark, trying to pinpoint the musky smell heavy in the room. Stumbling over the trail of discarded clothes, I crawl into my bed. Just as my head sinks into the pillow, I notice my roommate sleeping directly across from me. As much as I can't stand her, seeing her asleep, exhausted, and flesh from sex makes her seem human. Shows your eyes, the characters behind the screen are doing stuff. To peek into the screen, disable the censorship toggle in settings. I'm about to look. <laughs> have a look but nothing's even going on she's she's laying in bed the covers are pulled up to like here and she's just shirtless that's 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 literally it like that's it what i was curious <laughs> I watch the slight curve of her chest rise and fall with a calm and steady rhythm that syncs with my own. Her usually sharp and scathing glare softens under the bluish glow from the lamps outside our small room. Bruh, I hope my character's not about to have a have a crush on this bitch. I don't care how cute she is. No, she's an asshole. My eyes drift down her slight face to the delicate shape, delicate nape of her neck down further to her exposed chest. The slight pinkish blue, pinkish blush of her nipples rises as she arches her back stretching in her sh in her sleep a content sigh escapes her lips and she turns over i don't know why i got caught up in watching her asleep but i think i liked it i must be really high bro you high as shit because i don't i don't give a fuck she's an asshole i must be real i must really be high i really could care less about trish i yawn and stretch before settling even deeper into my bed ah uh, another day down my thoughts fade into the haze and mine wanders into a deep and calming sleep I think I'm gonna save it here, guys. I'm saving it here. Do you guys want to play this tomorrow? Perhaps? Yes, yes, yes. No, 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 no. You guys wanna play this? I might do maybe um I might do two streams tomorrow. Maybe play this like later again and then maybe do some dead by daylight or something a little beforehand or something. Possibly. You guys want to play this again tomorrow? Okay, we'll do it again tomorrow. I know the stream wasn't that long, but um, I didn't mean to start the stream so late. Um, I meant to start it like late, but not th not this late. But yeah, I, got, I was so tired. I slept from like six to like nine thirty. I was so freaking tired. But yeah, we'll play this again tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> this game is wild already. Body count still at zero. I got a few more followers. My GPA, GPA is still the same. I got a little bit of extra money. Um, met Jace. Jace seems cool. Bryce is a fuck boy. I, I don't know. I have mixed feelings about him. Trish is an asshole. Blair, I don't know why she was upset. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll figure out tomorrow what her problem was. Um, who else did we meet? Who else did we meet? We met Gabe, Blair's ex. Uh, we met the Dean. He's a dick. Ruby, she's really cool. 
now want to play and be chaotic girl if you play by yourself and you have the sense if you have the sensor off brace yourself because you're gonna see dicks with piercings people with hair getting pulled you're gonna see a lot of stuff i'm just letting you know but <laughs> thank you guys so much for being here i hope you guys enjoyed this this is this was a little bit different for my channel um but it's it's interesting for sure so i appreciate you guys be sure to leave a like on the stream if you haven't already and i'll see you guys tomorrow when we play this again good night guys